I'm trying to push out the bus. A lot of bus men trying to help. Senior parish judge dies from COVID complication. A senior parish judge, Stanley Clark, has died. He had been tested positive for COVID-19 and was admitted to the Cornwall Regional Hospital in critical condition. Clark, who worked in Trelawney for several years, was on June 3rd this year transferred to Sentan as the senior parish judge. He was in his late 50s. Clark has been a judge for more than 17 years. The death has shocked the legal fraternity. At this time, there is unimaginable grief, shock and pain, said Chief Justice Brian Sykes. He described, he described Clark as a dedicated public servant before becoming a judge. Clark worked at the Ministry of Health and the Lawyers General Chambers. Sykes has extended sympathies to Clark's family. So, very sad to see such a brilliant person pass. Two held in the slap away of a 81 year old Sentan man. The Sentan's police have arrested two persons in relation to the slap away of a 81 year old retired chef, Norman Campbell, of Gozan District in Brownstone Sentan. Shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday, Campbell was found unresponsive and with a wound to the head. The police were called and he was taken to the Sentence Bay Regional Hospital where he was pronounced. Deputy Superintendent Kevin Francis told the news on Monday that two persons who have been picked up are likely to be charged with the slap away of Francis as expressed condolences to the family of the deceased say the police community safety unit will offer grief counsel counseling the deputy superintendent is also urging person with information on the murder to contact the police meanwhile the police are in test in testifying investigation into the slap away of a ochirias businessman orville grant popular known as bash who popularly known as Bash, who was shot dead on Saturday night in Buckfield, Ochirias, when he was pounced upon by three men as he spoke with a friend. His licensed firearm was stolen, a homemade firearm service pistol with 9mm cartridge casing were recovered from the scene. Pregnant COVID-19 positive American died in Montego Bay. A 34-year-old pregnant American who had died at the Corner Regional Hospital in St. James had, had tested positive for COVID-19. The Western Regional Health Authorities say she was staying at the hotel in the tourist Rezalayan Caridor and developed COVID-19 symptoms. She was reportedly isolated at the hotel and take to the Noel Holmes on August 16. The woman was later transferred to Cornwall Regional where she reportedly developed complication and passed away this morning. It is reported that she had initially refused to go to the hospital for medical treatment. Her family was also considering flying back to the United States. Residents flee deadly Maxfield violence. Several residents of Bethel Lane of Maxfield Avenue in Kingston have packed their bags as a minimum exodus surprisal following the murder of two people, including a woman on Sunday. The first of three no movement they offered no deterrent as gangsters pounce upon 50. Some of you as I'm sub before I get into any other update, this is a man that is missing. Family members are seeking the public assistant to find this missing person. So anybody know the whereabouts of this man can contact the number below or the nearest police station to you. Let us help these family members to find this missing person. So you can contact the number or there will be another number provided 
if you wish to help and help this person or the family members to find back this missing person so this person is on the screen is missing he's from all harbor sorry he's from Hanover. sorry so contact information is on the screen so you guys can contact the family members so let us come together as jamaicans and help somebody today help a family member get back their husband help a child get back their father so let's get into the rest of the news the first of three no movement days offered as gangsters pounce upon 56 year old Paula Ralphel on Unity Lane and shatter to death. 11 15 am. Raphael, a shopkeeper, was sweeping her yard when she was slapped away. The news understands. The gunman reportedly escaped on foot. There is a video going around. I'm going to put the video on the screen, you guys, of the actual gunmen that did the shooting the gunman escaped on foot killing followed the brutal murder of a 51 year old currently kelly and industry to three other members of the household at 2 30 pm they lived at a house on bentley lane gunmen gained access through a window and fired on the family as they slept three members of the family have been hospitalized with one critical it is unclear whether the incident are linked nobody is safe the strength of max steel avenue as well as nearby rosestone community has been tense for a week in several shootings and a slap away a resident said that nobody is safe the war them a fight no normal because women are dead and men are dead and don't be surprised if it reached the picnic them cause them youth ya na no love in a them the resident who asks that her identity not be disclosed because of security concerns told the news them kill a young them kill young or elderly every minute people a move out soon bear empty house over the second woman kill Ralph is the second woman to be killed in the area this month. Tashana Munchi Roper, 31 year old, slain on August the 4th. Roper, who is from Denham Town address, was traveling in a taxi when gunman opened fire, killing her. She was reportedly targeted because of a family member. She was targeted because of a family member with whom she was traveling with. Investigation into both Sunday slap away are ongoing. Up to August 17, the Kingston Western Police Division has recorded a 23% increase in murders on year to year. Shooting have increased.